Hello everybody and welcome to an, another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I will continue with uh, showing how to install the shutter in uh, my Kodak Retina 3 little c. And um, since I already give the shutter uh, a little care and um, it looks nice and works really good. Now it's time to put the shutter into the camera again. So how to do that? Well, we need some tools, a tweezer maybe. Uh, a dentist tool is also very really handy. A flathead screwdriver, this is a two millimeter flathead screwdriver, can also be very handy in this case. Now, my homemade, <laughs> well, it doesn't look that nice, but it works. Um, I add a little rubber here because it will make it easier to uh, install the shutter um, and the retaining ring. It's made out of a 20 millimeter bolt um, screw bolt. I don't know the word in English, but it's a bolt. Yeah, it has a pr pretty pretty big head that is uh, too big actually for going into the back of the camera it would say here it will uh, simply not come in to the back here so i filed and grinded with my angle grinder and my my uh, dremel tool and making uh, two tiny pins on each side i mean one on each side so it can be used to unscrew the retaining ring here and of course put it back in again and it works pretty good but since the um, the details in the retina 1 uh, b and the 3 c is different because the retaining ring sits a little longer in so when it's installed how could you actually, I know there is a special tool, but I do not have it. Um, so therefore, I, use, I need to unscrew the back lens group first, and then <clears throat> the retaining ring. And that's why I add some rubber, which is really sticky. And the rubber, yeah, is taken from a, uh, a worn out uh, Nikon lens because the, it was from the zoom uh, grip, the zoom rib, uh, ring, and it's actually extremely sticky. So, uh, and it's not really good any longer for put on a lens, but it can be useful f for um, adding at the tool like this. And I add it with the double side tape so it can uh, just sit there so when i need to unscrew the the back lens group here i can simply just put it on and then have a good pressure and then unscrew it without any problems so quite easy now the uh, retaining ring i can also take that off but uh, and now we can just head off to install the shutter. Now, in my lens, I mean in my camera, there are three thin spacers. I think they made it for, I mean, I mean, I think they put it in because of the adjustment, uh, which I guess it could also be because of the, um, the, uh, yeah, the aperture ring here from uh, prevented from uh, coming too close to the uh, front here when it could be sticking uh, to. I don't know, but there could be less or more <coughs> in your shutter. But here there are three, so we just put them on here <coughs> and then ready to put in the the shutter now let's get to the front 
because uh, there are some things we need to do. First, um, if we wind, uh, I mean cock the shutter, you will see the little wheel here, the gear wheel here, will turn and it will go back again. And then we can fire the shutter and we can just do it again and it will turn as I turn the wind uh, lever and it will go back again. So now, so we fire the shutter here <coughs> and I mean the, <laughs> the camera and the shutter is also fired uh, so it has to be released. So it uh, is it's just relax I think yeah must be something like that now let's <laughs> let's put it in there is a notch here in this uh, ring here that will uh, when it's installed the shutter is installed it will prevent the shutter from turning when uh, winding the camera so what we do we need to when we put it in we simply set the the camera I mean the focus to near end so as long as it can so it's almost uh, flush with the uh, with the edge here when we look at here now then it will be much easier to put in but there are things we need to do is the the gear here needs to be all the way over to here as long over to the uh, as, I mean you can turn it most as possible so it cannot turn anymore if it's too loose like here uh, possible to see I will show you here so if we can turn it a little, so you can see it a little loose, but it has to be all the way over there, as long as it can. So when we put the shutter in, the <coughs> the gear bar, dented bar here, also need to be as long over to this end as possible. So if it's, if it's all the way over here, we just draw it as long as it can, so it stops. Now, when putting in, in the shutter here, hope someone can see it, um, we do not add it anymore, uh, not yet, just have to find the notch there, should be there. Now. <coughs> The gear reel here has to be over to as long as you can over to that way. And on the other hand, the bar here needs to come as long as it can without as when it meets uh, some, it stops. And then we simply lower the shutter over the, um, the gear wheel here. So you can see there, and then it sits there. So let's try to cock the shutter and see if it will work. Yeah. So that's it. So the only thing we need to do is simply uh, lower the, um, I mean, set the focus ring to infinity and then put in the retaining ring. Whoa, so there. And then put this retaining ring in. There, and it will just fall into place. Now, I have uh, made a short, uh, I mean, a little mark here on each side, so I can find out where the uh, two notches are in the retaining ring. So I'll just put in my tool here, 
and then catch those uh, notches there and then screw it in then tighten it good that should be all fine and let's see how it will work so now we can fire the shutter as it works so the only thing I need to do is to put in the the back lens here and uh, for that set the uh, lens to infinity and then close the uh, the front here by pushing on the two uh, one there and there at the same time and close the door not fully close the door but keep an uh, finger here on the front so it will be easier to install the uh, back lens group here so and now I can use my famous tool here so to simply I will not scratch anything because of the rubber so I can just put it on here and get a little backwards to catch the thread so there and simply screw it in and tighten it gently so now it is and uh, here we can see yeah it actually works the counter is working as it should so that's good that was all for me uh, hope you enjoy the content and can hopefully use it uh, there are some details here about the uh, the back lens group is I ah, mean R <laughs> or is I don't know well 24 millimeter in diameter and the retaining is 27 millimeter diameter so uh, just if you want to make a tool like this one the head uh, is much bigger than the, the bolt itself or the screw here so uh, it should be quite easy to get uh, a screw like this so that's all for me so hope you enjoy the content and can use the info so bye bye